Oh my goodness. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> For sure, starting out strong with an already We already have a fun fam. What the? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Hello, Cuz and Batiste. <clears throat> we got Ollie and Claptrap. For sure, with the five gifted. Naomi, good to see you. I miss you. I hope you're feeling better. Hi, Lilith. Sir, hello, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. We have SCSO Academy Day 2 today. Hi, Deep and Mackenzie. Hello, hello. We have Academy Day 2. And then, depending on how the day is going, we'll hop on Rosa. We are just waiting number two in queue hopefully we'll get in in just a second hi king victory there are so many kids here today <laughs> we have four five kids here actually right now so i'm hiding down here so i can do academy but we'll see <laughs> Hi, Hayden. How you been? Oh, I missed the SCSO picture. Oops. At least we got one yesterday, right? Hide? Oh, I'm just hiding from the kids. <laughs> There's a bunch of kids here today. I'm still at my, uh, my family's house. Oh, you got a new one built? Thank God we missed you. Okay, why did I just go to four? Happy Sunday. I'm off work tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. I should have gotten on at restart, but I couldn't. What's the what's the news? Let's hear it. I have a giant iced coffee. Rowdy, be nice to Aiden. God. I tell you guys every day of my life to be kind to each other. What do you do? Make fun of each other. Listen, I'm always nice. You officially completed all your exams? Hell yeah. Congrats, Naomi. Congrats. Yes, you guys need to get along or I'm going to put you in the get along t-shirt. Okay. You know, I always think stories of like siblings fighting growing up are so funny because my brother and I... My brother and I are 10 years, and my sister and I were 11 years apart. And so, like, we never fought, really, because, like, when I was a baby, 
he was like 10, you know? So by the time I was like five or six and could, you know, try to fight with him, he was 16. So what I did is I just tortured him by wake because I would wake up obviously super early and I would go in his room when he would have friends over and bang pots and pans. I was horrible. I was so annoying. <laughs> Literally. Just sit there and bang and be like, it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. Oh god, they're asking my ETA. I said, oh, I'm number three in queue. Two in queue. Only three minutes behind. Have I seen the STSO group picture? Yeah, I saw it. Oh, hey, dog! I can see you talking. I can see everything. I have dispatch prior. I I could have taken that, and like, if it if I get any later than what I am right now, I probably will switch over. But I wanted to be able to switch to Rosa when I wanted to, you know. This is the furthest back in queue I've been in a minute. I don't think it was Big T. <laughs> I think it was someone dressed up like Big T. Brother does that to me all the time and he's 20. Oh, that's funny. I should just hop on dispatch. Okay, if in the next minute we don't get in, then I'm going to switch over. All right, we're going to switch. I know, but I, I bumped back down in the line. What if this takes longer? This is my first time ever taking this. Oh, God. Oh, God. Go get some water, Ada. Go drink some water. That has been so annoying lately. She's been so annoying because she has gotten fed by all the kids upstairs. That's it's nine minutes that I've been waiting is what that shows. Um, but she's been getting fed food like constantly by the kids upstairs, right? And so she like hates being downstairs now because she's like, oh my god, there's kids upstairs, meaning there's food. Um. Oh, Edda just wants, it's not even attention. She wants food constantly, constantly. And she's like going mental because she's just like, I don't think I've ever seen a more food motivated dog than my dog. Like my dog is obsessed with human food. Lay down, lay down. You are fine, sister girl, you're fine.
Like this dog, I genuinely think if offered to her, she would eat her herself sick. Like she would eat and eat and eat till she physically was throwing up. She has no off button when it comes to food. Oh, it's okay. Fuck however much you want. Okay. Not for pain. Hi, Maddie. My Sunday's been good. Woke up super early. Like 7 a.m. Some pancakes. Hung out with the baby. She's so cute. I'm sure they left me. Getting baby fever? Dude, I will not. I will not lie. Cute and easy baby. She's the third baby, so she's like super easy. I'm here, I'm here, I'm sorry. I was like, damn, someone ruined all your No, just right. They were actually like wheat pancakes, like healthy ones. They're pretty good though. Okay, chat. Uh, no one's here. Lock, lock, lock. Go lay down, sister. Hello? Um, hey. It's, it's, it's hey. kind of like Survivor, right? Where I was late. Challenges, you, win, uh, you compete for immunity, mm. and then people vote each other They're off. They're at the Sandy Airfield. You, you need a CPI? Yeah, I do. Thank you. Hi, Ollie. Listen, I, I had to get some coffee, and then I realized what time it was, and then it it was. You missed the photo. Yeah, you did miss well, the photo. Well, I got my though. own picture with Rose yesterday. What the fuck is that? A close-up. What the fuck is that? Close -up. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what? what the fuck? We are Why called Miss Cross. Why did you give her this? Thank you. Are you coming? Yeah. Mm -mm. Okay. No. Well, have a good one. Fuck! I wouldn't have been late, chat, if I didn't go get a nice coffee. But, you know, priorities. <laughs> I needed more coffee. This should be Piper's car. I'm here. <laughs> I was told to do something and my FTO was like, I don't know why I tell you to do that. You don't have to do that. I was like, well, what the hell? Wait, who the hell was your FTO? Uh, evil. It was something about like air radio etiquette. It's like, you oh, don't have down. to take something. So lay saying, down. I don't know why you said that. Jeez, Adam. Really funny. Lay down. Well, yeah. Radio, radio is honestly like, there's some people who just, are a little bit more silly with it and it works for them and there's people like stubble who will shit on you if your comms are not good what radio are we supposed to be on right now nine. <clears throat> it's nine listen i had to go get some iced coffee i was not going to survive this oh no worries no worries i had a nice cuppa and now i'm ready for the day is there is there an easy way to de-stress like something i can eat um the mac and cheese from the locker should help i think also, you know, 
walk in the bushes, smoke a freaking J. You know what I'm saying? A little queed. Oh, you're, you going? you're high on duty, huh? Gary? What the fuck is in no, the sky never, over there? Is that a boat not. in the sky? <clears throat> you see that? I think it's a bird. I think it's I think a boat. It's a, I think it's a... Hold on, hold on, Gary. You you just bought some trusty dusty it's binoculars. You can take a look. What is it? It's definitely a bird. But Why isn't it moving? Even, it's not even flapping its wings. That is that is impressive. Six. <laughs> oh, I like them. I'm gonna start using these like crazy. Oh yeah, you can you can creep on some people. With yeah, that. I think I'm a binoculars guy now. This is oh, yeah. powerful. Does yoga de-stress me? Power. No. Don't worry, the, they... the camera's also pretty good, but yeah, no, that one's a lot more like. Are they just talking about us or what? They're probably planning yeah. on what they're doing for the day. Probably gossiping about how much they hate us. Oh yeah, I mean, obviously. Hi, Alexis. Most, mostly trivial. Mostly trivial, probably. Oh, oh bye, Alexis. Alexis kind of scares me. Going to the bush me. to smoke a J. I'm telling you. I man. don't think she likes me. Do you have a J? I'll go smoke. No, of course not. I would <sighs> never. Come on, on on duty. This. I'm stressed this, out. This. Yeah, but it, you know, future, future reference, you know, burger shop food, usually the best for that. Oh, it's too fattening for me. I quite prefer a nice salad. Oh, oh you know, you're one of them little healthy bit of eater guys. On it. Yeah, big, big, uh, big, big plant guy. Love I mean, I'm plants. not, I'm not super worried about, you know, cal like caloric intake or whatever, because I feel mm. like we're probably going to be doing like a lot of running, so it'll probably balance out. I got smoked in the foot chase yesterday. I don't know. I could not keep up to say. Oh yeah, I got, I got smoked in. I think I need a. Chase. I think I need a strategy. I made two arrests on a foot foot chase. You know, yesterday oh I went gosh. on duty with Rose for a little bit, and uh, there was a shootout. Oh my a shootout. God. Yeah, was that, it a Lewis bank. Old? Yeah, it was. Um, was it? Was You're it so around brave. seven o'clock? You're so freaking brave. Night? No, it wasn't. Oh, no. I know I'm so brave. And I told him, Randy service. Bullet told me I smelled, and I told him, no, it's his upper lip. But he didn't understand Damn. the joke. Oh, yeah. I smell great. You know what? Here he gotta, comes. Gotta get, gotta get ready Here for the comes day. the freaking grand. All right, FTL, let's find a cadet. We're about to start. Hey, I, I don't know. Oh. Cadets, get in your car. I don't have a CB. Oh, they, gave me, me. they gave me that pink one. Oh. Okay, that'll be your car. Hell Never yeah. <gasps> My girl, we're driving in the pink car today. Dude. What? This is what they gave me at the station. Uh, let, let's go get a CBPI. <laughs> what? This don't work? I'm, I'm going to take Piper to get a CBPI. I like this car. I should buy one. There's a, a C6 What did you say, CBPI Shelby? You have a CBPI here? Yeah, my C6 is the yellow one. Oh, okay. The yellow one. I didn't really like what's green. There's six CBPIs here. Funny. Hey Rose. What's up, honey? What well, what close up yeah. did you take yesterday? With me. We were posed mean? like you against a car. A, did a close up and you made it sound weird. No, I didn't. I just said I already got a close up. You, you made it sound yeah, weird. You made it sound really weird. Right? Listen, Rose is my new what? friend. I was leaning against the car and she was aiming a gun the other direction. He's just inferring things that I didn't say. What do you mean? What did you say? <laughs> I feel very anxious right now. Don't do this to me. I need keys. Oh, I, like, I got really anxious from that uh, photo earlier. I'm trying to shake it. Why did you? Why? I don't know. Everyone it just really stressed me out. Like off. seeing everybody like just be really chaotic for half an hour. I mean, I get it. Cadets, go ahead and drive away, but not too far away as if you're patrolling. So get in the car and drive away. Hey, hey, Rose, can I get keys? Adonis Cobb, you locked out. All right, go do your training. locked out. I'm saying a Donna's cop locked, uh, locked Wait, out. wait, is this your boyfriend? Oh, nice. Yeah, <gasps> stressing me out right now. Hey, Famous, tell right? her, like tell her she's doing people. a great job. I don't I care what she's doing. A great job. Don't be, don't be too much of a and that uh, she's perfect. Next time he a criminal threat and the prettiest girl you've ever seen. 
I tell her that all the time. Well, say it again. Well, no, now I'm not going to do it because you told me. So I'll put my earmuffs on, okay? Can you just get in the car with us for a second? No, go do the training. I'm going to bed. You hate me. Okay, let's go. I let's don't go, let's hate go. you. Stop that. I need keys. Right. You have keys. I don't think I do. Oh, is the car on the lights? <laughs> oh, <on. laughs> oh man, I'm I'm silly today. I'm 100. percent Where you? Where are you going? Right, he said drive away uh, like you're on patrol, but. My name is Bob Parker. You know, I'm just gonna be go, walking go around. Uh, MRP. I'm them. a gang. I'm GSF. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm I'm on the. I'm on BSK tour tour right now. You know, just walking. Fuck fuck, fuck BSK. You know. Go yeah, towards fuck BSK, uh, everybody. Oh, down that way. Okay. Yeah. Kings. Well, how's your day been? I'm gonna piss on uh, BSK's. Uh, uh, okay, okay. How about you? It's good. It's good. I just got a big ass coffee. Hey, your dog. Oof. He's pissing us. He's pissing on our flag. I'm so unprepared for this. Well, me too. <laughs> I don't know what channel we're on. We're on channel nine. Yo, we got we beef. We got nine? beef. I think so. Fuck me. Uh PDB advised latest 71 Sandy Shores Airfield. Dispatch 978 76 uh, 71 Sandy Shores Airfield. I have no clue what we're doing. Dispatch 556. Dispatch 555. Dispatch 566. Copy that, Mark. Can you all have around? Dispatch 548. No clue what we're doing right now. Dispatch 978 23 Sandy Shores Airfield. Uh, got a black and colored buffalo leaving the scene, requesting 77s for a felony stop. Five five six on scene. Oh, someone go ahead and check out that person that's on the ground there too. Hey, call yourself out to check the people person on the ground. Five six six. I'm checking the person on the ground. I don't see a person on. Oh, over here. It, yeah, yeah, next to the. Separate radio check. Sir, dispatch. are you okay? Like this vehicle is not yielding at the moment. We're being an active 80 heading eastbound on the Sandy Shores Ed oh, Airfield. Oh, this man has a, a, Break, a gunshot uh, wound. Secondary 556 will take it. Hey, I'm going to hold some pressure here. You need to call field. EMS. Make sure they get here quick. Alright, let's use mud. Continuing towards the hangars. <sighs> Alright, sir, you're scene. in good hands. I'm going to be holding some pressure on this stop. wound here. Make sure you right, stay alive, stop. okay? Let's go for a felony here. Can I get your name? All right. Uh, so CPIs, uh, go, my name is uh, Cy Carter. Up, to the left of me, Cy and Carter. Counter clockwise. Well, Mr. Cy Carter. Uh, the diamond dogs. Well, good for you. I'm I'm proud that you you're accomplishing your goals and life. I'm just gonna make sure you stay with me here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just we we got a scene going on, so we're gonna call EMS, make sure they get here. But um, we're gonna have to secure the scene and make sure that uh, you know, you stay okay. All right. Hey, Rose, are we treating this guy like he was part of, like, in the car or not? I don't know. We need I some mean, uh, break, EMS break, over break, here. break, Maybe active felony. If there was a shooting, All right, on three. what could you be Dismount. checking for? Weapon Tron. I could be looking around for some, some casings, One, but should I not two, keep pressure on this one? Three. I mean... Do you think maybe he stuff? was shooting? You gotta, you gotta clear the air well, hey, sir, hey, I'm hey. just gonna go you ahead and vehicle, search your pockets down. a little bit Listen, here just to make sure that you don't right have anything that's gonna hurt me or the EMS. No. Right no. Alrighty, GSR, when he's down, I'll let her get there. Well, sir, I'm just gonna take a little swab of your hands here and make sure there's no, uh, nothing on on those hands. Get off the phone there, sir. Right now. Alright. In order to do that, I'm just going to put you in these little handcuffs, but don't worry, EMS is on the way, you'll be okay. Grab the keys of the vehicle and throw them outside of your window there, alright? Alright. Alright, just getting a little swab here. Alrighty, now your hand's still up. I want you to reach the door handle with your left hand and step out slowly. Mr. Sack Carter, did you escape prison? You're supposed to be up there for a long time. I got a. All right, driver. Now I'm, I'm a big deal, I want so you to let me walk go. back towards us. Well, that's interesting. Facing forward. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Turn around. He Carter. he gave me his name. All right. Oh, okay. Walk back towards us through your eyes. If you All want. right. So it looks like you're coming back negative, sir. But I'm just gonna keep these handcuffs on you just for my safety and yours. Right, while EMS is on the way. Back it up. Stop right there. Who is it? Yeah, he's negative. Okay. 
I didn't do nothing. I'm sure your mom's proud of you. Yeah. First suspect resisting. Okay. Well, uh, he's on scene of a shooting. Um, do you think maybe that you have RS to frisk? Well, yeah. Sir, I'm just going to give you a quick little pat down here just to make sure that you're, you know, now, not holding uh, anything get, that could I hurt me or the EMS. Uh, you same here. Get out of the car very slow with your hand. Uh, yeah, I, got right. a, I got a piece. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to be taking that from all you right, while we uh, while we oh, investigate what's going on here, okay? My voice here, all right? keep going, and you got keep a big bolt. Stop right there. Yeah. Going for dust. Do you actually want me to take your shit or no? Well, I searched you and... Yeah, take the gun <clears> for <throat> processing. Do you actually want me to take it? Are we just... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're gonna go through the whole... Uh, right. whole uh, okay. We're gonna go through the whole... Uh, Same thing. The, 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 the whole process of All processing. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave your... Um, Sure your taser and, and right shit, but you know, right. in a real world, I'd be taking everything like that, okay? All right, well, we get a criminal gun for you. Got a what? Hey, firm, keep, keep an eye check, on check that pocket's war time. Hey, stop, stop turning around. Stop it. Stop. 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 <clears throat> keep, go, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You know right. what EMS was called? <clears throat> I'll double check with, with sir, other officers. Drive away. Is Did you call EMS? He called EMS, yeah, but it was <coughs> perfect. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, I'm just broke because of a uh, uh, felony yeah. stop. Oh, okay. But, uh, you know, we covered that. Okay. She doesn't know what she's doing, so it's better just to guide her. EMS was called. Okay, so in scenes like this where there's three of us and they're picking up evidence, should I just like secure this person and? That's what yeah. you did, yeah. Okay, just making sure I'm so doing it right. Everybody kind of <clears throat> has their own uh, job, right? Um, mm -hmm. And you call it. That's why you call it out. You know, you're you're checking on him. They're doing evidence collection. Another person, you know. Call right. EMS. Yeah, I'll, I'll call it out on radio yeah, what I did. And plus, there's active comms on the radio. All right. Same with yeah. that. Over here, right. only stop. So now we just kind of wait right for EMS. We wait for quote slowly EMS. Slowly walk back while facing forward. Sorry, can you say that again? I will, uh, officer close to him. Go ahead and come in. These are going to be yes. projectiles. Another room for cases. Um, so while we're waiting, so we're we can just scene. talk about do evidence. If you get out your flashlight. So now we're gonna go into the hangar. 195. Uh, so you can see I that there's like a bunch of stuff, right? Of there's uh, blood what here. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll, we'll talk about photo, DNA photo, collecting and processing that. But if you come over here, you can see All right. uh, that we have casings on the ground the from the vehicle by where the person was standing and where they shot their gun. And then I swear I saw projectiles. Maybe I didn't. Um, oh yeah, and then projectiles right here. Oh yeah. Well, and then also over here where uh, they missed. So... Well, how do you how do you think you would go about collecting evidence? Don't collect anything. Just tell me what you think the process is. Well, well, first I'd make sure who's doing what so we don't double down. But projectiles, obviously, you need to take pictures of all this, right? Yes, that's what I was hoping you'd say. So you want to document everything before you touch anything. Yeah. And you want to get a few different angles, and so let's, uh, let's come over here. I'm gonna have to get a new screenshot function. Use your camera. Uh, your PDD deck. We didn't, we didn't collect all the evidence, uh, uh, just so you I'm guys not... could, you could show her. Oh, okay. So yeah. 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 We, we had her pick up one thing, and then the the same with Gary. I went over road. taking pictures. So, if you want to show her how to do that, you can. We're doing it right now. 
So move them to the side. Okay, yeah, Alexa should the grab it too. Okay, so if you get out your camera, um, so going over you can see quarter, that you can see the uh, evidence doing, right? on the ground, so this is just you know. Covered, yeah. And so that's why you want to get, like, a couple different line, right? angles. Yes. This isn't actually, called. isn't a great Medical's angle. Called. And sometimes, well, not doing anything sometimes you have to move around, like, you don't always see it where you're standing. Yeah. Uh, but they made sure that he was handcuffed and GSR tested. Uh, what else did you guys do? Uh, frisked him because he was on scene of a shooting. And he had a bulge, so I took his gun. So now medical has been called. He has gotten medical. What's the next thing you would do? And now I, now I see this. Go double time! You all have to pay attention as well. God, I'm stressed out. You're fine. Are you stressed? No, no, no. Like, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, you know. Oh, okay. Did they stressed need more out. Over there? <laughs> like vision nah, stress. That's fine. Okay, okay. So he, he's gotten medical. What would be the next thing that you would do? Do you want to question him? Do you want to. Well, well, before I question him, he's got to have his Miranda rats. If I am going to question him. Sir, at this time, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, the state will provide one if available. Do you understand these rights as I said them to you today? I understand my rights. Perfect. All right, my nine. Why are you on? What's going hair, on here? Uh, you know, I was just you know hanging around the. The guy with the funny. I was just talking some shit, to some gay guys on BSK. They, they fucking suck, you know. You know, I'm not a rat, but uh, they, they, I mean, they may or may not have shot me, you know, or, you know, some some shots, some gunshots may happen. Okay, you know, okay. I'm Sy Carter. I don't stitch at all. Well, Sy Carter, did you, true. did you happen to shoot your gun today? Uh, uh, no, I didn't shoot my gun, you know. All right. So, chance, so you were just here because BSK video. sucks or what? Yeah, I, my, my, I, I'm a antagonist, right? I love to talk shit, you know. It's who I am. I'm Sy Carter. All right. Well, did you see who was shooting guns down here today? Uh, yeah. I mean, I did see, you know, they did shoot a little. Uh, and who's they? BSK? Like a black car. Not a black car, okay. Yeah, that black buffalo shot. All right. <clears throat> well, normally I would call that out, right? That the black bu buffalo was shooting, but they have them already. Uh, you should still let them know. Um, Five six six. Um, we have confirmation from the suspect that the black buffalo was shooting. The victim. The victim. A firm. Thank you. Okay. Uh. So did the GSR come back positive or negative? He's negative. Do you think he's uh committed a crime? Well, potentially. Well, I guess if it was a shooting, maybe not if he's GSR negative. It sounds like he's the victim of a crime. Uh, at this point, you know, what you could do. What do you, what do you, uh, well, tell me what you think you should do. So there's still an active situation. We have somebody here in cuffs that may or may not have committed a crime. What do you think the next take him to the station. Why? Because he was on the scene of, of a crime, and I can't just assume that he's telling me the truth. Maybe a little There's bit more questioning. More what? There's also one more thing. Like here on scene. Oh, yeah. Sir, I'm going to have to take your mask off here just to, yeah. to, yeah. to make Good sure job. that I can tell who you are. Yeah. Or, I mean. That's why I ran over here. Good job. Hey, I have a report that she that she put up. It's gonna be labeled as delete, so we can use it throughout the day. Where the oh, hell? Cool. Yeah. Cuff. Uh, is it incident or invest? Incident. Oh, yeah. cool. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. You can just have it deleted later. Okay. Oh, you don't need. Oh, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes people say too close. I did this yesterday. Was an uh, example? Just, yeah, it was an example. So I would just put. You can. You can put. Um. Oh well. BSK no, you gotta stay put. Fine. <laughs> oh lord, how Make mercy! Sure you're um, verbalizing when you're going for cuffs. I went for cuffs, and I would have so said that earlier, but I messed up. You're good. It happens. They can overwrite what you have done. 
if you don't refresh. You guys are so positive. Thank you. So if someone's in at the same time, you need All right. It's your first time. Yeah. This is yeah. not a big deal. What? There, there we go. Yeah, I did add, I added charges to one. Ah, I'm Sy Carter. You're not Sy Carter. No, no, you filthy liar. He is. He is. Like, <laughs> no. Save. Yep. Yep. Because <laughs> it what do you mean? change you. So you want to make sure that if you ever change I anything did. in there, you let people know to make sure no one's in there. Yeah, never, I'm and, not going to uh, go there. I'm Sy Carter. Refresh it. You gotta be screaming so a little bit a, more. A report to is make up it. for you to put his statement in. Okay. I'm afraid to. I'm afraid to be too dank. I'm Sy Carter. Yeah. Ah, just the same. Bye. Me, Sy Carter. Oh my gosh, Sy. All right, so so in this report, I, I'm gonna put him as a victim right now, right? Yep. Well, we wait to wait to see what's going on. Was he GSR negative? I'd be able to he was look negative. Over yeah. Her making it, and it won't mess anything up, or would it? So she's she's in the body of the report right now. So you've already saved everything. So it is now hers. It, if you add evidence or officers or anything like that, that won't mess anything up. But right, if you're uh, editing five the five, body of the report, it will. Of DSK, okay. But, but if I back, hover uh, over it, just see what she's adding uh, I don't feel any bold, um, and person. refresh it. So did is you that get a yep, that's fine. Um, like a formal statement from him? Uh, or are you just questioning him? I just questioned him, but I was going to write that in the statement. Should I, like, ask him specifically for a statement? Yep. All right, Zach Carter, I'm going to get a statement from you on what happened today. Sure, essentially what I said earlier. I was uh, I was talking shit to BSK. Words are words are very powerful. Did anyone clear the glove box the feelings, They shot me. All right. What section is this going? Under the victim? The unit's on scene. Did anyone nope. clear so the glove box So it is going to go under uh, the... 10-4. Uh, it was all empty. So what you do is you do Psy Carter's statement. And then underneath that, you would then put what his statement was. There's nothing in this report yet, right? No, there's nothing in there yet. Okay. So if you want, um, if you want to wait a second, I can put it in just like an example of what it would be. Generally, I like to write statements right, on like uh, a notepad. Let's go ahead and meet up here and, and then kind of give paste a it in. Discussion, see what's yeah. going on here, right? Oh, okay. Just to make sure that no one else overwrites what you're doing. And like, if somebody does, you have a copy of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, did you see how many people are in that buffalo? Uh, probably four. And could you identify what they were wearing or what they look like, or do you know them? I uh, don't know them. One of them was wearing like a. Well, I did see one. One was wearing like a camo vest or something like that. Something camo. Individual this is a talking, right? uh, Anytime you move someone, essentially, anytime they're, 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 they're detained, right? Yeah. You're, uh, they're they're uh, they're detained for questioning for you, you have good faith uh, thing. <laughs> but anytime you move anyone, it's either for their safety or they're under arrest. So, uh, am I under arrest? <clears throat> Not at this time. Did you find anything illegal on me? Oh, that gun. Yeah, well, you are under arrest, actually, for having that gun. There you go. So, although I didn't shoot, I could go to jail for something else. It's, uh, at that point, it's officer's discretion. Are we out of okay. it? Just, just as a reminder, here, anytime you move a suspect, uh, they, are under, they should be told here why they're being under, in, uh, in uh, detain, yeah. They're under arrest, essentially. Or well, they're being moved for medical over here as well, this would be good. Especially when you want to check in at MRPD or SSO. All right, I put the statement in fine. MDW. Tell me if it's good. Apparently, Peach is coming. Okay. Is she bored? She asked if we needed help. I said, I don't think so. And then she asked if STSO is actually learning anything. Are you just at the hangar? Can we go? Uh, I shouldn't put the that topic. he had a gun in his yeah, statement, yeah, right? Go to fuck off him. Why? Um. All right, let's, let's actually doing a, talk about doing this a little debrief bit. Debrief time. Um, we'll talk about it after the debrief. Okay. So a lot of times, scenes when you have reasonable suspicion and you have officers splitting up, they're getting ninety fives. If they're PC or not, you'll probably have a. I think this one was mine. On scene to get a rundown, everybody okay, on the same guys. page. Know who's being released. Know who's being sent to prison. 
uh, getting everything kind of in order before you roll out. Fully involved, but yeah, we, we have enough to, to arrest him. Uh, my guy, oh, go ahead. Go. You got it. No, you got it. All right. My okay. suspect saw a policeman, ah. green hair, no shirt. Uh, he claims that he got picked up after the shooting, even though we never lost contact with the vehicle. And we saw the vehicle leave the scene. No one get in or out. So he's definitely in the scene. He also said, My friend definitely did not shoot that cop. Uh, when I never even mentioned that a cop got shot. So I'm looking to hit him with accessory. He was GSR negative though and did not have a weapon. My guy with the funny black hat uh, tested GSR positive and he had a PD Glock on him. Real bad noodle. All right, and then the units on the hangar once you uh, find out. <clears throat> well, I had um, a down sack harder and he was GSR negative, <laughs> but um, he was frisked and he had a bulge and he had a, a class A, so I took it. Class one. Class one. Not A. Uh, my suspect over there says his name was Fritz Erickson. Uh, he says he's a member of BSK, but he came back uh, GSR negative, and he didn't have any uh, sort of bulge on him. He said he was just eating a, a meal from Shrugway. Couldn't really get any information out of him. All right. Well, uh, the ones that are GSR uh, positive. <clears throat> Am I enjoying being a cadet? Yeah, it's fun. It's a lot to learn. Uh, anyway, all right. It's all right. Looks like we do have a shooting here. Ma'am, step yeah, away I mean, from the vehicle. Very very obvious. We do have uh, casings on scene. Uh, 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 an individual that was shot at. Uh, did the individual that got shot at, did they confirm it was the people in the vehicle? Or? Yeah, he confirmed there were, he thinks, four people in the Black Buffalo shooting. Do you get any descriptions of them or anything like that? Uh, one was wearing camo. Alright, do we have any right, 95s my... wearing camo? Yeah, that's my suspect. GSR positive. Has a, had the PD clock. Alright, right, so, so since we have uh, him, uh, things, someone shot him with camo and all that stuff, let's uh, get him down to the station. Who was the other one that had the GSR positive? That's the uh, black hat. Green black hat. Okay, well, Alright, uh, and he had a weapon on him, you said? That's right, sir. All right, let's get him down to the station two. The other two, I mean, if they're both GSR negative. We don't have much of them, you know, involved in the shooting, but we can always bring them down for questioning if you guys want. You guys think what, maybe bringing them down questioning might be a good idea, or? I think that's a good idea, sir. Yeah, uh, my, mine uh, requested a lawyer. Oh, all right, well, I mean, he's the GSR negative one, yeah? Yeah, correct, yeah. All right, well, if you want to bring him down to interrogation, you know, make sure you bring a lawyer with, you know, down there first before you talk to him, right? But uh, all right, let's uh, get him loaded up and uh, brought down to Mission Row and in process and set up to Bolingbroke, you know, ones that actually did something. All right, all right. Yes, mission sir. complete. Cool. Yes, sir. Uh, one I, thing. I, well, I, I go a lot more than one thing. Uh, felony stops. Uh, first of all, counterclockwise. Uh, it gets a little bit dicey because most of the time primary's going to be on the right and everybody's going to be clockwise of primary. So it's going to be secondary and tertiary. They're going to do the felony stop sweep and they're going to be going clockwise, clearing the cabin. Big thing yeah, for felony I, I, stops I and clearing things in general is crossfire. The amount of crossfire knuckleheads doing this PD is insane. I've probably been shot by more cops than criminals. If there's crossfire, then, you know, that means you're, you're pointing at someone and behind that someone is a cop. Maybe that's not the best place to be with your gun. Another thing, counting down. We don't do those with felony stops anymore, so how we do it, felony stop, you call it, you attach to it. As soon as you get on scene, you get out of the car, you point a gun on it. Giving them a countdown, giving everybody a countdown, is giving them a chance to get out of the car and shoot you guys while you sit there with your dicks in your hand. So if it's a felony stop, that means it's normally a response to a violent crime. You get out of that car, you point your gun at it, so if they reach, they do anything. You can shoot them before they even think about getting out of the car. Uh, one more thing, somebody called out that they were going to be searching a 95 uh, while the felony stop was ongoing. The entire point of a felony stop is to get it done in less than two minutes. You are detaining people, you don't have probable cause to search. So you are getting them out of that car and putting them in your car. 99% of the time when you have somebody under detainment, that's with reasonable suspicion, you are not searching them and you're not going to be putting them in a car. 
The only time you put somebody in a car is when you're probable cause and you would have searched them. But with a felony stop, it's the ex expectation or sorry, exception from the rule where you're going to throw them inside of the vehicle for safety. Their safety, not just yours. Uh, you're not going to be questioning people in the middle of the road. You're going to pull them to the side. Communication between units on scene is paramount in these situations. Uh, there wasn't really a lot of communication between what was happening with the victim. Uh, for some reason, when primary called out one unit to stay behind with the victim, uh, two did. That resulted when we had 495s. Primary had to beg for one of the two units. It wasn't really doing a lot to come back to the scene and handle the 95. The entire point of why we're good at what we do is because of communication. That's the entire thing that we have over criminals. Those knuckleheads that are stealing crimes, all they do is they say, Ooh, uh, I'm going on, on, I'm near Red Garage, pit this car. Uh, that's, that's criminal comms. You know, we got training, we got 10 codes, we got police language. You know, we have, uh, we have training and they don't. And as long as we keep that quality up, we're going to be able to operate at a better capacity. Anybody have questions about what happened in that scenario? Uh, oh, I yeah, do, I got sir. one. Hannaford first. Uh, so when you're arriving on the scene of a shot fired and you see somebody down, but you also see something, you <laughs> see someone fleeing, which one is more important to go if to If you're first? primary, then you would get that vehicle, and then you would call out uh, instantly, I need a unit to stay behind on Ulta and Vinewood Boulevard. There is a victim on scene. All right. Uh, my question is, you said that this would be reasonable suspicion, so you wouldn't put them in a car, but for felony stops, it's to keep them safe. Mm -hmm. In this situation, we, we saw the car on scene of a shooting, saw someone down, and then chased them. W wouldn't that be probable cause? No. No? Did you see them shoot? No. Did you see them shoot out of that car? No. You responded to a shots fired? You didn't respond to a shots fired from a vehicle. Uh, hypothetical, there's two buffaloes on scene. You know, they only shot from one car. That's not probable cause. Someone being on the scene of a crime doesn't mean that they did it. Yeah, Your literally. Every single call you see pop up. The shots fired from South Rockford Drive. The 99 Bravo from two minutes ago. The 31 Alpha. All of these calls are reasonable suspicion when they're coming through dispatch. They are not probable cause until you have witnessed them. Which also, you didn't witness them shoot. You witnessed them being on scene. Uh, Saul could have very easily got in the car after they shot and not have known about it. You don't have probable cause. You know, you need to actually witness them commit the crime or for probable cause to get evidence of circumstance. You have the frisk, the GSR test. You have them on the scene of the crime. You have the victim statement, but just them being on scene, that's not proof. Now, if you had a call about a vehicle on scene and you had the plate and you have that plate on the scene and you witness it being there, well, now that's proof. But someone just being on the scene of the crime <sighs> That isn't enough to stick him with it. All right, perfect. A huge thing about detainment isn't just proving guilt. It's also proving innocence. You need to be impartial. You need to make sure that you're not just trying to incriminate someone that isn't actually involved, but you need to make sure that you're incriminating someone that is. Anybody else got questions or just those two? Any questions, Jared? I don't think so. Uh, I want to mention two things. Uh, um, like uh, Bobby said, when a felony stop is being conducted, everyone on the radio shuts the fuck up unless you're like uh, dealing with the scene, right? Whether it is to say 195 or whatever. Everybody else on the radio shuts the fuck up. Uh, secondly, Calvin, I don't know if you meant to, but when you were clearing the trunk, uh, you searched it. You're looking for people, uh, you're not mm. searching the trunk. Big hiccup. That's uh, Mike Smallvis, the LSPD. Felony stop is a protective sweep. It's like if uh, somebody ran into a house in a foot chase. You're going in there to run after them. You're not going in there to raid their stash. Now, if you're doing a felony stop, you're not checking the trunk or the glove box. You're just checking if there's somebody hiding in that shit, ready to pounce and start blasting. Another thing to add when you're doing a felony stop, make sure you communicate. I know Stubble said that, but communication is literally everything. Say if you're holding trunks, say if you're clearing the front, say you're checking the glove box, say everything you're doing. Make sure you guys are whispering over there, please. We're not talking normally. Uh, any last question, guys? All right. 
not bad. Uh, FTOs, keep in mind, a lot of these guys don't know what they're doing. Uh, so <laughs> treat it like a shadow or, you know, not follow them along. Uh, but otherwise, overall, pretty solid. Uh, I like the Evans collection. Uh, I like the um, communication. Maybe a little better. Remember, any t another, another thing is, if you ever move someone MRPD, you gotta let them know why. You know, like, why, why am I moving this person? Either for medical, for safety, or they're under arrest, right? If you're gonna take me to MRPD for no reason, you're essentially kidnapping me because I'm not under arrest, right? So remember, you gotta let them know why they're arrest and make sure it was a, a Miranda them just to cover your ass. Uh, but yeah, cadets, get back to your car. We're gonna move on to the next scenario. If you guys need a break, let me know, okay? Roy, I have the dip, but the, I have a. Do me a favor and save this statement on like a notepad, uh -huh. and, and uh, we'll talk. We'll talk about it um, afterwards. She didn't like my statement. I'm gonna think for like a minute and a half. Chat, I gotta go potty, I'll be back. Right, I'm back. TMI. <laughs> okay. I realize I've been around kids too much because they said potty. <laughs> You're not gonna believe what we're doing next, Gary. Uh, uh, what does that mean? Fuck wrong you nip you? Uh, I think you. Rose Everyone's is my FTO, but yeah, hop in. I think she's uh, I think she's gonna be a criminal this time around. Oh, okay. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, you uh, enjoy the academy? The yeah, it's fun. Okay. I had no clue what was happening uh, right before because I just woken up, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, how do you guys de-stress as a cop? Because I can't smoke weed, can I? Uh, you can off-duty, but not on-duty. Oh. So, what do you do on-duty when you get stressed? Uh, yoga, or if you, you know, go eat a, your favorite cheeseburger or something that might, uh... Well, I'm gonna get fat. Yeah, I know. So, then right, yoga, uh, and cigarettes, um... Or... What'd they say? You know, I wasn't listening. Sorry, Either. just follow them. <laughs> I get really overwhelmed when radio gets loud, so I turn down and then I mm. don't hear stuff. Did you miss out? Yeah. Some people are just too damn loud, though. Yeah, true.
Am I following this guy? I guess so. Yeah, I think we're just going to be in the area and then they're going to call it in uh, a house robbery. Oh, oh God. I believe that's what works. This is y'all's favorite thing, huh? Yep. I know I've got really, really nice FTOs. I'm happy. Yeah, I think they're set up the scenario over there. Oh, okay. But how you been? Uh, not bad. Not bad. And, uh, took Alexis out on a shift after Academy yesterday. Did you go out with, uh, um, yeah, someone or someone? I'm with Rose. Rose, Rose. Okay, cool, cool. How was that? I saw a shootout. Oh, okay. And Randy Bullet told me I smell bad. So I well, told him he's just smelling his own upper lip. <laughs> Got him. Then he took uh, Nancy, that cop hostage, during the chase. Mm -hmm. And uh, started to... He, he blasted. Is there a cadet Did he get shot? Uh, I didn't get shot, no. Okay, well that's good. Pity revised list 31 Alpha Chola Springs Avenue, Sandy Shaw. Alright. 916. 545. Take a right. 566 responded. 548. 916 is me 23. There's going to be a uh, black color buffalo on scene with the truck open. Uh, two people outside. Multiple cops out front. Uh, multiple people out front. Uh, one on the phone. I have someone, um, uh, unit next to me. Can you detain the one uh, next to the buffalo? Pocket like, aces. We got pocket aces. We got a runner. We got, we got a unit go chase the one with the blue hair. Uh, go on eastbound. Everyone else get the main cops. We're eastbound, Chola Springs Avenue. Hands up. Let me see your hands. Hands up. We need a unit. We need a unit following this. Runner. Hands up. Here. Yeah, well, I still need to see your hands. There's been Going some some bad Locked things happening in the area. Just, I'm literally just standing here. I live well, here. stand here with doing? your hands up, man. What the How about why? Because I said so, please. I'm just standing here. What are? Why are you pointing a gun at me? Where's Pack? This was a a 13 Alpha, right? No, no, 31 Alpha. 31. No wonder. House robbery. I but thought they said thirteen. You know, Anyways, all right. I'm gonna need to see your hands. Uh, me on North on Avenue. I, I, what am I doing? Yeah, I'm I literally just standing here. Chases, uh, well, why are you pointing something at me? Because yeah. someone someone's been breaking into the houses over here. We or just have to make on, sure uh, you weren't involved. You know. Status in the main scene. Do we have any uh, people in the How am I involved? I'm 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 not doing anything. Well, I you know I believe it when I I can just check a couple things from you. But I'm going to need to see your hands up. It. Well, What's then the I'm just going to be going for cuffs at this yeah, time. I'm cuffs. sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> Stats of the house. You guys are Ocean King. Got 195. Hey, for pursuits will be a west. I've got another drive. 95. Hey, for him. We're going to maintain cost right. now. Very good for <clears throat> He has uh, a right, what they're doing on scene. I get to separate while we chase the suspect. Like the yeah. bus yeah. drive. Reaching around? <laughs> well, you could, but you know, uh, give you a reach around, did you? Right yeah, I I'll okay. do it from yeah. the back next time. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be uh, the suspect's going out eastbound. Just, uh, That's all right. Try to, That's all right. try to cut from the back. Okay. Yeah, always. Um, okay, at this point. Uh, can I have the look mobile unit do look, comps? Look Why, uh, I don't want to read. Oh, we, ma sir, you gotta stop that. That that's you're being uh, bad. Well, I don't know why you guys saw. I'm just I'm just passing through. Listen, I'm sir, put through. your hands up. Sir, I'm just passing through, guys. Don't mind me. Sir, I'm gonna have to chase you. Oh. Well, you down. Let's clap the scene. Let's get him in the get a car. We've got a nine to five running. He's in a striped shirt. Um, red hair. Secondary pursuit eastbound now. Along Alhambra, one individual in a striped black and white shirt. 
Right here. Stop, you're running. Stop running or I'm gonna tase you. Go in for cuffs. Oh, you got me, cop. I'm sorry. <laughs> Continuing eastbound. Now northbound through the houses. Did you say there was a gun out? You. No gun. No gun. Stop running. Head back westbound. Sir, put that away. You keep a gun out, I will shoot you. Come back here. Oh, okay, make sure you have your oh, yeah. Come back here, I'm gonna tase you. You're gonna be tased. Haha, <laughs> nice one, toppers. Oh, oh. Getting back, getting back to the original scene. He's getting in the black buffalo. Black Buffalo headed southbound. Bu buffalo, Buffalo double stalled. We're also missing a 95 with a, a brown bun and a chassis. Buffalo shifted. Buffalo is out. Flipper suit. Sir, get. Stop uh, your running. Buffalo, he's running uh, northbound. Stop your running or you will be tased. Oh. Well, going for cuffs. No, Sir. Not. Oh. Do not resist. Resisting. Sir, oh, guys. put your hands right, up. Right, right. I'm going for guffs again. Oh, he's running. Uh, he resisted. Westbound. Yeah, going back to the original scene. He's headed back to the original yeah. house. You will be tased. Make sure that the girl in the mache is fully oh. Going for cuffs. Oh. Oh, cadet, call it out. Uh, local fired, shooting. Fired. Disregard locals. locals. Uh, uh, Ninety-five there. in custody. Sir, you've been real yeah, naughty. Oh, I, I was just walking through, guys. I don't know what's going on. Uh oh, uh oh. I just ripped my headphones out. Uh oh, uh oh. Sorry, I went deaf for a second. <clears throat> Sir, at this time, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you can't afford one because you're poor, the state will provide one if available. Do you understand these rights as they've been read to you today? I said, if you are poor. If you, if Hypothetical you have a 95, if. Bring them to the main seat of the house. Well, I'm very, very <clears> wealthy. Yeah, I, mean, I was just walking through this, you know, neighborhood, and all of a sudden I had a bunch of police chasing me, and, and no, for no reason. I, I'm, I panicked. I, I don't know what you guys want me to do. Likely story, Mr. Balderman. Yeah. A very likely story. Well, sir. You guys have your guns out. It's scary. Well, I'm scared too. Are you scared? Sir, I'm just gonna be well, taking a look at your trailer. hands here. Uh, can I have anyone check for evidence? That, uh, just giving you a little little search. Everyone else, uh, All right, looks like you you've been breathing pretty hard, and those hands are kind of uh, scratched up. I mean, I I, I panic. I have anxiety. I like throw my arms a lot. So. Call All right. right. Have you have a 95. Yeah. yeah well, I'm just gonna give you a little pat down here. See if you have anything that's gonna poke or prod me. I don't yeah, definitely do have something. I mean, we're not, we're not even worried about that. It's my legal firearm. Well, I'm just gonna have you give you a little search, just a little pat down. Uh, check for any scratch marks on their hands. Yeah, anything. check for scratch marks. Uh, while they were here. Okay. Uh, the one Did you pull up the Jan 95? Uh, yeah. Jack was on okay. scene. Uh, she, I leave the house, but she was uh, he has scratches too, so I, I did a frisk and he's got a bulge, so I'm gonna search him. Uh, okay, you're gonna make sure that you're looking just for the item that's making the bulge, right? Yep. Got it. And I already read him as rats because he, uh, he ran. Okay. A legal firearm, so you know I don't, you know, don't worry about it. Just, I'm a, I'll well, have sir, that. this one's not really a legal firearm. Well, what do you mean? I, well, I bought it from ammunition. Well, at this time, I'm just gonna be holding on to it. We can, uh, we can I'm search and make sure you got a license for that or yeah, something after robbery. this. But uh, I just don't want that to accidentally discharge and hurt me or you. Oh, I mean, alright, that's understandable, but I, I do have ownership for that weapon. All right, we well, I'll look that up, and if it's a legal robbery. weapon and registered to you, you shouldn't have no problem. Alrighty. He's got a lockpick. Do I take that? Uh, yeah. If it's uh, involved, uh, if this is a case where he might okay. be using the commission yeah. of the crime, you're done yes, certainly. Your I'm going to be I'm taking your lockpick too, uh, sir. Uh, don't rush it. Oh my God, these kids are screaming. All right. Okay. Done questioning. I took his stuff. Okay. Now he goes in my car. You're going to be coming down the station with me today. So he met. He was on scene of the crime, and he has scratches mm -hmm. on his hand, so he met two of the prongs, right? I gotta check for blood. Well, I also bit something yeah. pretty damning. You hey, know. you ran. Uh, worse than r running. You know, you had, you had two suspects that I... Oh, know, yeah, um, you un... 
You've been naughty. And didn't you punch someone? Uh, I, I don't recall hitting anyone. I was just running because I was scared. Sure, uh, Did you mean to pull your gun out? Them, uh, take the mask off. So I, I never pulled my gun out. What are you talking about? Oh. Well, I can't tell if you're if you're acting right now or. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> uh, I see blood. I'm going to take pictures acting. of this blood, okay? You stay oh, okay. put. It's not my blood. If your suspect has you a mask, take the mask off. Well, you, you know, if I believed everyone I saw in this city, then we'd have a, a clean city. Well, I'm gonna be taking your mask a second. Do I actually have to take these pictures? Oh, I'm not doing that right now. But I took pictures. You know, like a, Sir, I'm just gonna be taking off this little little funny mask you got on, okay? Oh no, not my mask. Well, I'm sorry, but you can put it back on uh, later. Buff. Okay. Uh, uh, Gimme. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh. <gasps> Bobby. I'm it's sorry. you. I oh, no, I couldn't tell with that mask on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, at this time, I'm going to be bringing you down to the station for a little bit of questioning. Are you going to be wanting an attorney? Uh, I mean, I, I self-represent. All right. Uh, like I said, that's, that's my lawyer. legal weapon, and you know, I have six weapon licenses to prove it. Hey, uh, are one, are any okay. Well, we'll we'll be Bundy? looking at that. I don't know. Is there a Jeffrey Bundy suspect? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Do you actually want me to put you in here or no? Nah. Okay. Let's bring him back over here. Hey, bro. Once you're done, uh, once you're done, uh... Did I miss anything? Our, our jail is over here by the, the black hole. Oh, okay, so if she resists, she's already doing something illegal and he can search her anyway. So, okay, right. that makes going to jail. I don't want to go to jail. Well, you're going to jail. Is it just disobeying? Okay, so yeah. charges for him. Uh, he, yes. um, love for order for you to stop we have enough to probably hit him with bur burglary. He didn't have any of the items, like stolen house Literally items, on him. Okay. But is, he so, had scratch marks, mm -hmm. and uh, he was on scene outside of the house. And then on top of it, he um, he uncuffed two of the other suspects and then mm -hmm. evaded. So, okay, he's gonna be getting. Burglary. Hey, look these up so I say the right. Safe in hands? Yep. No? So you're just on scene? Um. Yes, I'm so glad I really obstructed the, obstructed, the obstructed the ability of, you know, you arresting those two yeah. people. Yeah, obstruction and, uh, of justice. I just want to make sure I quote these right. You to figure out if you can articulate <clears> and, um. I mean, evading? I didn't move. They cuffed me. They actually cuffed me. It wasn't really reckless. He was just I running. Reach around and put the cuffs on. Well, is it evading or is it uh, and perhaps resisting wait, arrest? Wait, wait, don't I tell me. You oh, sorry. When you were trying to cuff me, I, I really don't know. He resisted arrest. You bad, bad sure boy. All right, so you know, hypothetically, I'm going to be hitting you with burglary. You're going to be getting resisting arrast, and you're going to be getting um, oh obstruction of my justice times two. Well, you got to think about that. Crime is not the answer. What is? What did you do? I'm betting I had that legal firearm the whole time. My, uh, you know, white body well, cult. Let me search you. You got a. That's not a legal gun, dummy. Yeah. Seriously, what are you on about? No, it's not. I, I bought it from ammunition. No. I swear. I mean, well, you're lying because you can't buy them there. Just fucking did it. I mean, one last time you went to ammunition. And it, have you seen the new stocks they have there? Yeah, I have. And that's not there. Are you lying to me? I they mean, actually I, put I, that no, gun I, in there? I, no, I, I, yeah, they have it there, I swear. It's, right, that's when they're, when they're in no. the I can't tell what's acting and what's not. You motherfucker, oh. stop lying to me. You had an illegal right, gun, uh, so you're uh, going to uh, also be getting possession of a weapon class wait. one. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. And I'm keeping it, and I'm going to put it in evidence. Well, I don't care. It's an illegal firearm. Oh no. Who uh, docked me at the car? So you're going to be getting that time. Enter time here. Enter fine here. Enter, um, uh, what, what's it called? Parole here. Bada bing, bada boom. Picture, picture. You're gone. Oh god, my. How do you plead today? I plead not guilty. <laughs> Well, your options are later on to find an attorney who wants to appeal that for you, but uh, full warning that might take forever and a half. Well, then, you know, 15 minutes, let me, let me contact the judge and see if they if they want to take your case. 
10. Zella's over by the fence. So I'm going to request judge. I want a lawyer. You get to wait here for 10 minutes, okay? Okay. Well, All right, I can go ahead and request I'm still on cops, so this timer's going down. Well, if you were in a cell, I'd let you go, but you run. I wouldn't run. I swear, you're going to cuff me right now. This is the jail cell, okay? Establishing barricade now. You're locked in. Talk about the disobeying cell. jail cell. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna uncuff you in, in this jail cell. So. jail, sorry. I will lie. It's a pretty small jail cell, so I'm not gonna lie. Yep. No. It's a little barbaric. You don't deserve any better, sorry. Filthy, filthy house robber. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm a different person. Take that mask off. Who said that? It's not me. Take that mask off. Robbie. Going for cuffs. Haha, uh, <laughs> you're gonna have to come down into this jail cell and I may right. or may All right. not well, I'm you. in the jail <laughs> cell now. Don't beat me. You give me that mask, okay? Punch. <laughs> you missed. Oh, no. oh, oh, what? Oh, Roy wants to be with all you guys that have a... Uh, uh, Stay in jail. He said 25 is by the Explorer, so I'm gonna bring you with me. <laughs> We're gonna go on a little field trip. I'm going to the car where your car is, though. Don't don't put me so, in the car with Roy. Like I was saying though, uh, Andrew. No, you're no. going with Roy. Uh, since she wasn't yeah, the original no, you're going five, you but you got her after she was uncuffed. You, you want to talk to the officer who originally cuffed her? Well, he told me to bring you to, to see if she was resisting during that time. I'm just saying, you process. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I wouldn't just give you to someone else for sure. <laughs> But right, he did say over? 25 would be by the explorer. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, I, I know that I'm not supposed to give you to Roy, but he told me to. So. Yeah, come over here. Yes, sir. I'm going to go give them their uh, gun back real quick. Round up. All right, so um, about four more scenes. Put your 95 scene. in jail. <laughs> I just... Put your 95 Maybe in jail. for moral support. Oh, okay. All right. So there's uh there's four people in the cuffs. <laughs> uh, the one in a white ran, so she's being resisting arrest and a compass burglary. Uh, the one in tan jacket, she was just there, so she's getting resisting arrest because she ran. Uh, the one in a uh, the they're all getting compass burglary. They're all on scene. Uh, they all just if they didn't if they didn't run, they're not getting burglary. Uh, but they're getting possession charges, a compass burglary, and um. Let me see. Was there a DNA on match, Lexus? Yes. Who's he come back to? Bobby Boulderman. <gasps> Alright, Bobby's gonna get it being uh, the main charge of burglary. Everyone else is getting accomplice. Uh, so, like, the main charge is gonna be um, Bobby getting burglary. Everyone else is getting accomplice to burglary. Uh, and then uh, possessions. Did anyone have guns? Yeah, Bobby did. And then five had a gun, sir. And Jack had legal firearm. Abram. Uh, so they're going to be the main charge is going to be as follows: um, burglary, compass of burglary, possession, and resisting arrest. Any I'm questions? giving a uh, Bobby obstruction of justice because he uh, and handcuffed two people. Oh my God! And then Bobby's being a uh, Bobby. You didn't come back for me. Or just, <laughs> just one charge. Classic Bobby. Bobby. Just one charge is felony obstruction. Is fine. And then, uh, was the car stolen? Uh, Calvin? Calvin? We'll say, we'll say the car was stolen and then Bobby was the driver, so he's getting into a writing. Damn, bring the book on Bobby. Bobby, you're fucked. Yeah. We're doing our job. Andrew, you got the charges you got for her then? Okay. So let's end, get everyone uncuffed and let's end this scene. So. I need you to explain the charges pull you out of oh, 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 striking officers. I said he came up to me in my cell. He started talking shit. By the way, Piper. Yeah. You see somebody uh, moving around like that when they are cuffed? They're not cuffed. All right, let's let's take <gasps> guy real quick. They're faking right. it. Knock off the client. They're around. faking it. Those shitters. It's, it's definitely you. not happened to me before. I would fall for it. Are you kidding me? It hasn't happened. I didn't like being mean to you. Didn't read them off the sheet I gave you. So that's yeah, how typically a, a normal house robbery will happen. Um, <clears throat> usually, when you arrive on the scene, 
uh, they will either one, they'll be either caught red-handed. Uh, that's what call it pocket aces. For anyone new, for uh, likes, uh, you know, want to know about the BTF pocket aces. When someone comes out with a safe or a TV uh, on hand, so that's essentially our probable. Most of the times, our probable cause. For uh, they're they're in the area of a house robbery. Uh, they have usually stuff associated with house robberies coming out of TV. Uh, so they're they're most likely all in for a burglary. Usually. Um, when you uh, arrive on scene, uh, the primary officer will delegate people who's running on scene. That's why it's very important to always pay attention to radio. Uh, I think it's several times I said, uh, hey, can someone chase Shelby over like five times on the radio? Uh, east, and eventually someone did. Um, the confusing that, part about this is solid. like the uh, instructors are on radio, like trying to make them, the and, scene uh, happen, but then we're scary, also on radio to, trying uh, to like, like role play uh, the scene out. I just, I'm confused. Like, I don't know how much is like, Andrew, training, uh, go through the whole the process you know? of patting them down, questioning them, uh, checking for any scratch marks. Uh, just keep in mind, whenever you do have a 95, call out who you uh, need either 301 or call out a hey, um, 916, I have 95 when someone calls out. Because I had asked several times uh, for a call out. So pay attention to the radio when you can. And it's a little over, over, uh, overwhelming sometimes, but try to try listen to the radio when you can, when, especially when someone's asking if you have a 95 or not. Yeah. Any questions, concerns, comments, FTOs? Cadets? I have something. Um, when you're dealing with suspects and 95s, this kind of is in any situation. I see it a lot during traffic stops. You'll see them do something, right? And you know it, and they will come back and they will say with like absolute certainty that they did not do it to get you to question what you know. Don't, don't back down on it and just stay confident in what you know. It's it's a tactic that happens a lot. It's called like gaslighting. It, you know, Andrew told me to stop running. I didn't stop running. And then I came back and, you know, I started, like, saying, like, oh, I did this and you didn't do that. And I could see him questioning what I was saying. You just got to be firm and just know that, like, you're right and they're wrong and don't back down on it. Because it, when you start questioning it, you give them, like, a lot of, you know, room to, to get out of the charge. Uh, criminals and suspects, they will just blatantly lie to your face. Don't believe them. Yeah. Also, be mindful of bushes, because when everyone arrived, I just hid in a bush and was pretty much safe there. If I just sat there, I would have probably been bush man, dude. pretty fine, I'm not going to lie. I also went to a bush after I was released from cuffs. Yeah, also, and uh, when you come on scene and you're encountering someone and they don't follow your orders, don't sit there and get into a five-minute conversation about why they should follow your orders. <laughs> you either you tell them that you follow the lawful order, if they disobey, they get tased, cuffed, etc. A lot of this is just, like, uh, speed. You know, you want to get the situation under control as fast as possible. Obviously, as, as safely as possible. You, you know? just so called me out. stopping and talking to somebody and trying to reason with them. That's, I know, his uh, face is funny. Control the scene. <laughs> me trying to reason with everybody. So, it's kind of like the, I'm when, like, when listen. You don't, it doesn't, you doesn't have to be like robbery. this. <laughs> just listen to me for a second, like okay? Robbery, OIS. It's like when you walk out of the car or walk out of the house, you don't always want, usually, you don't always want your phone, you're going to do your phone keys wallet check, right? So whenever you, your phone keys wallet in this city is essentially cuffed, uh, take their mask off, GSR if it's a uh, shootout, and then pat down for weapons. So cuff, GSR if applicable, masks off, and uh, pat down, search. Usually the, those like that that's your phone keys wallets for most scenes as a cadet. It's something we want to hammer down um, anytime you're on scene, whether you be a full officer or a cadet. It's just essentially do your phone keys wallet check, cuff, GSR if applicable, pat down, search, mask off. Not not order, but generally those are your phone keys wallet. Any questions uh, before we get to anyone uh, overwhelmed? Is it this pace okay? Uh, you hate it, feel free to let me know, okay? You guys tired? You guys need a five minute break? Because we're gonna do one more scenario, <clears throat> call it. Go for a potty break, sir. All yeah, right. five minute break would be good. 
Oh, that does work because we need to uh, get the criminal set up up uh, far away. Yeah. So do, do, do your fire break and then we'll resume. What's this next All right. one? Looks great. Andrew? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is there anything else I should yeah, put there? I should Maybe the. Uh, something today. The FTLs come over here. Dispatch response. Oh, never mind. Like a. Uh, oh. Wait, wait. Yeah, one second, Wait. One second, where's Bobby? Like you know where where like I, I got the dispatch call that it was like Jeffrey Bundy's car. Should I put that there? Sure. Bobby, you want this uh, back with... here? For oh, sure. Wait, yeah, no spoilers. No spoilers. Uh, Get your someone back, gave Bobby. me a cult too. I I can't remember where that came. Oh, that came from Sack Carter. What the? Are you peeing in my car? Oh, and I have this. Wait, this will de-stress me, right? If I hug the bear. I'm in the wrong car, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, you're peeing in the back of my car, I'm you so nasty. Sorry. I'm so sorry. There's a bottle back there. You need to clean your car out more. Please de-stress me. Please de-stress me. Oh, it doesn't work. What did I just do? Oh, I drank it. I'm gonna get gas. I'm not. I'm in one of the banana police cars. Half, have you not seen my banana phone? Look at this. I have to do that at um, a police station, I think, so I'll go do that. Call sign. B566. I'm gonna go get cigarettes at the store. Someone left this unlocked.
The license plate is potato. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing here? Not what I need. <clears throat> All right, cadets. Right on. Okay, let's start mounting up if we're here. Uh, start patrolling around uh, the SDSO. Will this de stress me? Oh, I just filled up my gas. Send it up to Nora Freeway, double time in it. Is there any kids without an FTO? Yeah, me. Uh, I don't have one. I'm currently uh, bringing a kid back. Yeah, we're headed back to the house scene. Do we have FTOs for the two that are missing? Yeah, me and Harvey uh, are available. We just need to uh, meet up somewhere. Step for it. Yeah, um, come to SDSO, you can. Our cadets can pick them up, wherever you guys are at. This will be the last scenario, so uh, hopefully it'll be a good one. It's hot today, it's cold here. We're gonna get snow again right. this week. Every cadet get an FTO now. No. Alright, who's no? Uh, Piper. Piper. Alright, and Harvey, Bobby, do you have cadets? I got some odd. Alright, uh, Piper, we... SDSO, I'm gonna Piper. jump in with you. You want me to hop on there, or you wanna, uh... Yeah, if you could. It's gonna yeah, be easier for me to lead it from up here. Yeah, I got you. Hop on Thank God, he scares me. <laughs> You're good. Alright, we're all locked and loaded. Uh, cadets, if you patrol Grapeseed, it's gonna make this faster. I was just for your Piper. You uh, enjoying it? Is it too fast? Too boring? No, it's been good. Okay. You having fun? Or is this... Yeah, it's fun. It's just remembering like all the steps, you know? No, it, it's good scenarios and stuff. Don't uh, don't be pressed about um, not remembering everything right away. It's one of the things where, where we want to lay the foundation. That way, you're, when it's actually live in the field, uh, you're not stressed out as much. You know? Yeah. So, oh, I remember this. I did this with Roy. <laughs> that's that's the hope and that's the goal I, I wanted for this academy. A lot, a lot of other harvests don't do academies anymore. So he told me to slow it down. Lights on, it's fine. Code two. Code two, hell yeah. Dispatch, call of, or uh, cadets, call your 10 8 right, when you're ready to go. Dispatch 539 Copy that, I'm marking you 10 8 <laughs> Dispatch 566 Good. I didn't expect a dispatch to respond. Dispatch 599 It happens, but uh, you know, if you hear that click, try to wait until it reaches your comms. But it, it's okay. Uh, the strategy for that is uh, if someone is saying something really important, they will say break. If they're not, and you're the one that was talking first, Commit to whatever you were saying. Fuck them for trying to talk over you. They'll learn eventually. You like being a cop so far? <clears throat> yeah, it's fun. Okay, well, a cigar de-stress me. No. Oh my. I think uh, food is probably your best option. Like, uh, I need to go ramen. get some. Uh, I'll get you some. Huh? I've been stressed since I woke up. Do you have it on you, Roy? Or always I have some? 
You okay? Yeah. Yeah. If you need to lay down, you can. You don't have to be here. Yeah, yeah I'm, that's why I'm here right now. So I can step away if I need to. Yeah, it's in the clubby. Thank you. Like a 911 that just says, like, poor academy, fleet up bank is being robbed. Yeah, I think dispatch will take care of that. Oh, okay. Thank you for me. Uh, dispatch 303. Break, break, break. 1090. Uh, Polito Bay. Polito. That's where you say. That's why I say that, uh, your call sign is 76. Yeah, 303, 1078. 566, 78. 76. 76. 78. 78, 20. 76566 How do I correct if I if I say something wrong? You just say correction. Correction? Oh, no, okay. Correction. Yeah. Corrections or 22 that uh corrections usually easier to say but I've got the memory of a goldfish I swear. Uh this is 303. I'm too lazy to lead this. Uh you guys need to add one for that 1090 of Polito. <clears throat> Please. Uh, copy that. Who's going to be primary in this call? Wait, so you weren't getting? You're just too lazy. I'm, I'm gonna be in L1, but I'm not leading it. I'm not gonna be on the ground. Paper, We're gonna lead the call. Someone speak up. 916 will lead the uh, ground units. I copy that. Really? Dispatch L1 23 1090 Polito Bay. There's a black and color buffalo parked outside. Trunk is open, no visual, and suspects inside awaiting ground units. All good, all good. Okay. They swear right into you. Yeah, from around the bend that you just went through until like all the way down Great Ocean, you'll find that all the locals seek out your car. They just want to kill so you, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So when we get there, you just say uh, your call sign and 23. <clears throat> that means um, I am I'm here. 23. Call sign 23. Lido. Say a football player, right? So this is like a three part. So your call sign, I am here, aka 23. Lido. See, it's like football. It's like a, it's like a like a football play, like that, whatever you have to say. Like Omaha, Omaha. Usually you'd cut the sirens just before you arrive to zip it out. So like at the gas station or something like that. 960 is 23. 566 23 Polito. 539 I should be facing out, right? To chase? Came from inside the as well. So like here? I don't know. So match what that buffalo is doing. On on that side? Or like yeah, here? Yeah, so you see how that buffalo is going to the south? Yeah. So match it like that. Yeah. So you can I'm so used to just pulling into a spot. Dispatch 59923, Pluto Bank. Abram, 916, uh... One running, one running. Westbound, westbound, tan jacket. Abram, yeah, but... Go after well, them. <laughs> Get them cuffs. Uh, doing don't the go thermite, after them. guys. Yeah, they're doing the thermite. So, with the Pluto Bank robbery and some other robberies, these criminals, they gotta use technology on the outside. So part of the negotiations is that they will have to go outside and they need to tell you that. So if one of them are doing something outside, follow them, ask them what hey, the damn hell they think they're doing, and they're going to explain it with negotiation. Another thing, uh, your vehicles, when you arrive on scene, should be positioned, ready to leave. Uh, 988, is that vehicle is the wrong way. Okay, they suddenly drive you to be ready to leave. Like, uh, the yellow vehicle. Yeah, you want to be parking across the street. Get a nice visual towards the middle of the building so you can grab photos. Los Santos special. It's a Los Santos special. So we're gonna we're gonna have our guns out for this as you are. So usually, when you, remember, you, you, you see that someone is negotiating. Already. Uh, so you'll you'll be on standby. So you will either be uh, perimeter control. So if anyone tries to enter the bank, you say no, or you're gonna be arrested. Primary, do you have enough units at the Polito? 
How many real yeah, units do we have? Uh, yeah, that's for channel dispatch. 10 4, channel 8. Channel 8 for Polito Bank. Channel 8, channel 8. For you just not negotiating, um, there's usually all the standard three things you can't give them to make robbery. This is an SOP question, so I'd pay attention. So you cannot give uh, money, you cannot give police equipment, whether it be your gun, taser, or police car. And you cannot trade a life for a life, aka a hostage. Two more minutes already. All right, they're saying they need two more minutes. All right, all right. But we will just want to make this nice and easy. Gary, are you taking pictures over there? Ten four, sir. I'm still so stressed you, out. Uh, Lack the play for me. Uh, I think she had dispatch. Hey, Burn. Gotta take them clothes off. All right. Just go ahead and chat up my partner, Bobby. Here, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Don't do anything black crazy. Black We're just gonna have a little chit chat here. 10-4, end it. Alright, so now yeah, that you have the negotiations, the, you're gonna the let them know on radio what they want. You're gonna, you know, describe what's going on uh, in the bank firm, and all that. You see, be you're gonna be providing Mike, information four, for people. One, okay. two, four, uniform, and then, uh, alpha, four. There, you know, you're gonna be like, they need two minutes, and you're gonna send a pursuit order. Oh, no. You know, you just look at people, be like, hey, 578, I need you as primary. 572, I need you as secondary, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, so someone running out of the bank again. Okay. All right, so go ahead and let you know get that information over radio. This is L1. Uh, what's the ETA? I feel like I've been here for years. What am I waiting for? They're about ready to come out. Uh, they have an extra demand of they need me to change into my towel before they get started. Uh, once Alexis is back after chasing after that subject, we'll go ahead and have him bring him out. Extra demand? What are the other demands? Oh, yeah, I didn't say your other demands. Uh, the other demands are going to be the Los Santos special free passage of the vehicle, no spike strips under exit. What's the pursuit order, Andrew? Oh, he's changing one moment. Right, what units do we have on scene? Why are y'all naked? Call signs. What's your call sign? You have five units on five, scene, six, including six. one. Five, four, eight. Five, four, five. All right, we're going to have five, six, six, primary. Uh, five, forty eight secondary. Five, six, six, tertiary in the pursuit. The uh, hostage is going to be brought out to Alexis. Don't worry about chasing. Are you sure? All right, so now you got yeah. to make sure So we're not chasing? Or you go back in there and basically We're not chasing. Is everyone ready? ready? Oh, okay. Are you ready? Take, you're going to be taking the hostage, Alexis. You good? So if I'm primary, should I go get in my car? 599 nine, nine, taking hostages to the All right. Do anyone ever said? Yeah. Where's your car? Over here. 978, ready? You're gonna be ready to leave, but you have your guns pointed just in case there's a shootout. So you're ready to pursue. So they'll, 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 primary will tell us one that one to mount up and stuff. So we're gonna have our guns ready in case anything happens. When they say units mount up, that's that's where we uh, we usually uh, we will get the car. We're ready to pursue right now. Probably through on one. Slow one should have called. What's it, Ryan? So we want you to call him. Roy, do you just want me and Alexis to turn? Uh, Aper. Yeah, right, they're gonna be coming out. All right, let's do that then. Yeah, yeah, no swallers. Uh, what right, two units didn't out. do the felony stop at the... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Criminals, wait. Hold. Oh. Hold, hold. Uh, wait, uh, uh, Alexis can't save hostage, right? All right, so let me just talk. Which two units did not do the felony stop at the airfield? 548 did not. All right, 548 five, five, and 509. I need those two units to be primary and secondary. There were three units that didn't get to do felony. Okay, who's the third? 566. Six. 566, your, your tertiary. Those are the three units that are following. The other two units, I need you to handle the hostage, and I need you to handle breaching the bank. Really? Air one says this? Really? So hey, we're probably going to have to just fucking around on the ground. Just 
Sort that out. Make sure everybody's in the right positions. Alright, I don't think carry I don't, on. I don't think we have a pursuit order for uh, the one shot. Alright. Make one. Uh I just made one. Alright. Five six six is tertiary. Less is primary than the other one secondary. Five nine nine primary. Uh five four eight, if you're gonna be secondary you need to be closer to the bank. Ten four. All right, let's get moving. All right, we good to let them go. Deeper. He does not up. Oh, is there one overhead for the 80 that we're about to see beyond for the from the 1090 of Polito? It's currently westbound Polito Boulevard. Oh my God, BCB. So we're not going to do a chase, we did all of that yesterday, what we're about to do is a felony stop. So I want you units in the CVPIs to stop following right now. Let the buffalo go around a corner or two. And then we're going to call out that we have found it, and we're going to do a felony stop. So the situation is, bank robbery. We've chased the buffalo for 10 minutes, we lost it. Someone finds it, and we request a felony stop because it's the same plate that is flagged from the bank robbery. So what I want is Alexis, the unit that was in, uh, I think you were in primary, come to Procopio Drive. You should Piper, see you Air like, 1 flying like around on your GPS. Have a what? It is currently northbound. Like I want you to come and do a felony stop with uh, the Buffalo. You should yeah, have an FTO that's for you to guide you through the primary role. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I got her. All right, then Smod, you're going to be the secondary unit. And I apologize for forgetting who was the Piper. third, but you're going to be third unit. Piper, Piper. It is currently southbound Polito Boulevard, the Black Buffalo. It's Air 1. I found it from the bank robbery. I need ground units to attach to it, a felony stock. My parade attaching. It's here in southbound six, six, Polito attaching. Boulevard. It's Great. passing with a farmer's market. 599 attaching. It's here in southbound. That's a pole. In front of PBSO, hmm. the greatest building ever. Left, eastbound, yeah. Great Ocean Highway. Buffalo continuing to eastbound. It's pushing through, passing Duluth and Pyrite right Air. All the way eastbound, Great Ocean Highway, parallel Chiliad, approach the gas station. Buffalo, I need you to slow down. You guys are really fast. Units, you should be an A+. This is a bank robbery. All units should be an A+. Transitioning eastbound, Great Ocean, out of Polito. Vickle, weave it all over the place. I don't remember what my A+, is. I think that's it? No. Alright, this is a good place, Buffalo. I want you to yield. Alright, the vehicle has 50. Line up for felony stock. Line up to a. Uh, Primary unit's there. Uh, his Secretary, lap, you so need to be right next to it. Left side of the vehicle, left side left of 988. 566, you need to be the left line. of 588. For a felony stop, you so are essentially like an arrow line. pointed at the back uh, of, of that, that car. Uh, All three the yellow? Yeah, the yellow one. Yeah. No, like you next to each other, shoulders to side. There we go now, yeah. five, six, six. I'm going out. Wheel spin, so the front of your car is pointed at that car. Oh, God. You know how to do that? Oh, I'm bad at it. So do it at the Buffalo. It's okay, don't yeah, worry. Yeah, there we go. That, that works. We'll put <laughs> it that out works. after. See? Now, you would all dismount at the same time, pointing your guns at that car. There we go, that works. <laughs> now, I'm not on the ground, so I'm not going to hear it, but primary, you should be giving verbal warnings for them to exit the vehicle. Feel free to do it on the radio so people know what's happening. Hi, Jason. Sorry, I'm Driver. very focused. I need you to exit the vehicle now. No. Okay. Stop. Oh, you didn't say that part. Stand right next to the door. <laughs> <laughs> the walk of shame. Oh. Face away from me. Look through your eyes and follow the sound of my voice. Take five steps back. Do it now. Uh, Roy, while they're doing this, can you fix positioning? Yeah, yeah. I'm just turning those signs off. 
Okay, that's five steps. Now what? That's all remain. Put your hands up. You got it, lightning cool. Um, should I call out the other units to cover me? Someone just got in the driver's seat. Get move in the car. So does she continue to, to lead? Like Oh my god, it was uh. car, guys. I don't want to get run over. Cadet, the car your is your moving safety. forward. What are you going to do? Stop, Stop driving, the car. driving the car now. Stop it. Driver so the vehicle. Exit the, unit. the car. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're telling me to. Oh, exit? Okay. Do, do not run. Team if Primer is busy with the 95, secondary and tertiary, you need to order that vehicle and keep control of it. Yeah, just more of Follow my voice and take seven steps backwards. Doing good. Couple okay. More, I'm more. sorry. I'm so couple focused. More, couple more. All right. okay, Driver of the vehicle, stop the car right stop. now. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Okay. Yeah, stop. Step out of the car. Put in cups? Look through your eyes and take eight steps backwards towards my voice. All right. And put your hands up. All right, for your safety and mine, I'm going to be placing you in handcuffs at this time and moving you out of the street as fast as I can. No, that's not what I want. You're going to place me in cuffs? I'm really trying my hardest. Where's Roy? I'm yes. Put you in the car. Okay. I'm gonna be putting you in the car. Oh. Justine, Alexis, well, I'll right. put you in the car too. Yeah, yeah. Put her in the car as well. Make sure your guns are still in the car. Five nine nine. I'll be checking the trunk. There's still one more in the car, isn't there? Uh, there's still uh, one more in there. Uh, there's still another one. Is, there uh, one is the anyone car? still inside of the vehicle? Can you move it closer no. so it's sort of this weird, super far lane? Thanks, Soul. Driver, right. step out of the there car! Go. You got it! Oh. That's fire, suspect down. Hold fire, hold fire. Oh. I'm gonna go put him in handcuffs. Wait, 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 that's fine. He's dead. He's not gonna be missing. We need to clear the trunk. Alexis, also do next. You got this, Alexis. Find out name clearing the trunk. Mm. Uh, wait. 566 six covering you. If anyone's in the trunk, the trunk make yourself known. Do you want me to go pop the trunk open? Go to pop the trunk. <clears throat> right now. Popping the trunk. Trunk clear. Uh, Sir, you have the right to remain silent. Stop moaning. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, uh, stop your bitching. Up. All right. You have the right to remain silent. No, Anything you say oh, can yeah. and will be used you against you. You will never Mirandize somebody while they're oh. on the ground wounded. Because at Hold the up. end of the red writing, do you medical. understand the rights as I've read them to you today? If someone was just shot 47 times, they're not going to be able to understand it. You will never Mirandize and read someone their rights while they're on the floor. Your priority while somebody is on the ground is to get the medical treatment. I'm going to be getting you medical. So you would cuff them, you would search them, and I'm going to be. Test. You searching you to make sure you have nothing that's gonna poke or prod me. Pockets, but you are not Mirandizing and questioning oh. until they get that treatment. <clears throat> so another thing, uh, felony stops. <clears throat> I we want that keyboard, but I'm not gonna really take bank, it. But we gotta make sure that we have <laughs> positive ID with whoever took photos at the bank. If, let's say, we get want the units the from the bank, more. then we would have like to get that probable cause. But if these all match the description, it's in the same vehicle, we got probable cause to arrest them. Now, if oh. they change the outfits, it's going to be a little bit more dicey. And because felony stuff, like I said, reasonable suspicion. You're going to be Mirandizing. They got masks, so you're going to be frisking. And you're going to be questioning. 52s are here. Oh, my God. I'm EMS. Oh, but if you call out, they're going to be collecting evidence for the shooting that happened. Oh, the Should I not take his mask while he's down? Keep it on? Sure, All right, I'm going to... 
I'm not All gonna right, pick him up. You, uh, well, yeah. so do I take his mask off before just EMS gets here, or just wait? Scene, right? Yeah, so generally you're I did do it on the pre scene. Should I not be using uh, somebody else? Cuff him somebody and then else. the mask off. Okay. I'm gonna be taking your mask off. Uh, can you jump? You're a little creepy crawling in your feet. Wait, do we only Fantastic. have. Uh, we probably only have the people from <laughs> oh, the collection oh. scene here. Are we missing an only Alright, EMS is here. Oh. Oh no, it's me! Where's Pike? Dude! Epop? No, negative, he's good. So, a big thing for felony stops is positioning. FTOs, can you show them correct positioning of how it should be done? Spacing is very important. Uh, we'll move the buffalo to the right side of the road like it would be. Alright, so is, uh, easy cop? Yeah. Alright, remember the phone keys wallet again? You're gonna be, uh, uh, you're gonna cuff him, he's cuffed, mask is off. So you're gonna GSR him because he's, one, he's shot, right? Alright, change your felony stop location. Yeah. We'll have the buffalo testing? is now. I'm gonna be swab swabbing your hands, see if you got any GSR on you. Uh uh. Well, I am. I'm sorry. No. Well, too late now. You done shot a gun, and I saw it. You tried to kill me. No, I tried to kill Roy. Well, that that's understandable. I smoked your ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> oh, my. You are positive. <gasps> All right. So you're going to take a picture of that GSR, like that little uh -huh. uh, indication on your screen, and then you're going to search them after Stay that. down. Yeah, I already searched them. So I should have GSR t tested first and then searched. Yeah. I mean, he did show you can search him, but it's always good to get uh, that rhythm of just hard yeah. search. If the space is too big, sorry, uh, too small, then you're not going to be able to get secure at all. <clears throat> all right, he's good to, to be brought up to his feet. All right, all right, I'm, I'm medical again. He's up. Thanks, medical. All right, I'm FTO again. So uh, bring him over to wherever else is. All right, you're going to be coming with me. Ugh. Let me out of these cuffs. Sit. No. Let me out of these cuffs. Let me hold you there. Uh! I'm gonna put you far enough away where you can't talk to your friends because I'm real mean. What the freak? <laughs> At this time, you have That's the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you can't afford one because you're poor, the state will provide one if available. Do you understand these rights as they've been read to you today? Yeah, yeah I understand because I'm not poor and <laughs> I can't afford one. Or Well, I bet someone's real poor. proud of you. Yeah, I'm rich. Essentially, search GSR and ready to go. Uh, something you'll see on the on the field that's a little advanced is like once you, you do that that phone keys wall check <coughs> I mentioned, you just do like your call sign, like you can run around the, around the sand. What'd you say? A, sand? It, yeah, you just ride in the sand real quick. Oh. Uh, like uh, you uh, use GSR search them, so it's kind of like easy for bookkeeping, right? Oh yeah. You just, you'll see this is pretty common in the field for like very big shootouts. So people, it's uh. It's like bookkeeping, so it's easier for people. All right, I want everybody to look at where the vehicles are positioned. It's very useful. Yeah. For a felony stop. Do the criminals ever yell at you guys about it and be like, front what of the CVPIs is the start of no man's land. Everything here is a kill zone. If you're in a felony stop, you are never to go out of this kill zone. You want to always be facing the vehicle. You don't want to turn your back. If you're directing a 95, uh, one of the suspects with their hands up, you are not to leave the area and go inside the kill zone and try and put them in cuffs. You are now in the kill zone. If they start shooting, you're gonna die. They are coming towards you. You are directing them to you. Officer safety is the whole thing about felony stops. But another thing, if the door closes, you wanna open it really quickly. You grab the door and try walking away from it. Also, if you wanna exit the vehicle with your gun up, you exit the vehicle and instantly point your gun. That's how you leave the door open. So you are never going into kill zone. You are positioning the vehicles and creating a unnatural wall right here. And you're pointing the nose of your CVPIs at the back of their car. Primary oh. should be parallel with the Buffalo. Hey, so primary can see directly yeah, yeah, inside of the sure. Buffalo. And when the trunk opens, they're yeah. going to be able to see in front of it. Primary should be staying at the vehicle and pointing the gun at the Buffalo for when the trunk opens. When it comes to the protective sweep, Primary would say something like this. All 95s, code 4 inside of the vehicle, secondary and tertiary, go for protective sweep clockwise. Now Roy will be shouting, if there's anybody inside of the vehicle, make yourself known. Roy is going to be holding a tight angle, e -Volt is going to go in close. e -Volt is going to push inside of the vehicle, and once he's cleared the cabin, he's going to announce the radio. Cabin clear. Cabin clear. Can I get somebody then, to go with the trunk? 
Yep, now he's gonna say, get ready for trunk. And ready. primary should already be here. Roy would probably stay where he was, or he's gonna cross this side. Roy's not gonna stand here because the crossfire. So he's gonna either go to this position, or he's gonna go here, which is a kind of unlikely because he's gonna go on the crossfire primary. So the big thing of felony stops is all about having your gun pointed at the criminals and nobody's in between it. In one of the felony stops, I saw someone do some crazy movement when they were like here and here and their guns back of a cop's head. You never want that. That was felony me. stops positioning, these all apply in other situations. Uh, you could have a situation where you're breaching a building. You He's a good teacher. You cars like this when you're at a bank. He's a really it's good teacher. It's probably going to be a similar situation if we're breaching. Again, when we're when we're clearing the car, we're looking for people, not stuff. We uh, we document the car for inventory for impoundment, but not during this. This protective sweep, we're clearing the cars for our safety. That's why it's called a protective sweep. So a big thing is you only ever search a person if you have probable cause to arrest them. You only ever search a vehicle if you have probable cause it was used in a crime. So if you'll know what probable cause is, which means you know they committed the crime, you can press the charge. It's the same for vehicles and it's the same for people.